Ladies and gentlemen, underground explorers, welcome yourselves back to Hydraneer. That's right, my name of course is Obita Potato, and in the last episode we made a tremendous leap, a tremendous bound towards automation. And indeed, I am unbelievably happy with how it's turned out. Um, I have let the game run for a little bit, and we seem to be accumulating uh, rather a lot of, uh, of small nuggets, but you know, small but perfectly formed and all that nonsense. Uh, so yeah, it's looking pretty darn good, and uh, no doubt we're going to continue that over the course of this episode. Uh, in the meantime, I've also gone uh, prospecting myself down my, uh, down, my, down my big old central shaft, uh, and we can now turn all of this gold that I have acquired in that time uh, into into some bars and then you know what we're gonna go on a shopping spree straight at the start of this episode because I want to see if I can get myself a magic wand a magic magnetic wand stick that's right that's what I'm gonna try and do I I'm gonna try and get the stick which allows me to pick up ore that are just lying around the place, I guess, and uh, and stick them into a crucible. That's kind of the aim. That's kind of the aim with the magic stick. We're also going to see if we can afford anything else, and if indeed we need to get anything else. I tell you what, I might actually, I might actually craft these into into a bar, and then we will head, uh, we will head to the anvil, and uh, and we will craft the bar. We'll craft the bar into into a tool. Sure, let's just roll with, uh, let's just roll with two of these bad boys. All right, all right fine. Just, just stick them all into one bar, and then we'll turn it into a dagger. We'll turn it into a, we'll turn it into a dagger. It shouldn't be too difficult. So that's two gold bars that we've got. I didn't find any gemstones, unfortunately, over my, uh, during my time, during my time down in the, uh, down in the shaft. But that's not necessarily a problem. I mean, you know, we still have, still have the ability to make a perfectly acceptable dagger. Plonk that on. Excuse me. Plonk that on there. There we go. Bash it into a dagger. It turns out like a sword as it tends to, but that's totally fine. Right, so let's whap this in the back. Whap this in the back indeed. Uh, do I actually have any coins? Do I actually have any coins left? Let me quickly take a gander over to the shop. And let's see, we got 128 coins. There's nothing else that we really need here. There are wood foundations. A lot of people suggesting that I start using wood foundations and start paving uh, some sort of an area, some sort of a, excuse me. I would love to pick this up, thank you very much. Uh, paving some sort of an area, like a, I don't know, like a base or something. 100% that is what we are absolutely going to do. However, for now, we're not gonna worry about that too, too much because still in my mind, I'm not envisioning this plot right here being our forever home, so to speak. I think that this will end up, you know, this will end up being a, a useful, a useful area. However, it's not, it's not going to be where we're located forever because we're going to try and expand to the other plots. At what point? Well, you never know. Maybe sooner than you think. Maybe sooner than you think because, oh yes, we're going to test our brand new, our brand new elite super strategy. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Fine, less fine, less fine. S uh... Okay, all right. If you're not nauseated after that, uh, after that incident, I don't know. I I don't I don't even know what to say. Have I ended up far away from my my target? I mean, I don't even know where I am, frankly. I don't even know where I am. Oh, I'm, I've ended up back at the base. I've actually ended up further away than where I started. Okay, that's, uh... I mean, that's a bummer, really, to be honest. There's there's no way of saying it. I, I kind of didn't want that to happen. Let's unstick ourselves. Okay, you know what? Maybe, maybe we just need more speed. I think that's actually what we do need. We need more speed. I mean, I'm not giving up on this shortcut, folks. I am not giving up on this shortcut. Okay, also, thank you very much to everyone who commented and left a suggestion on what I should be doing uh, and and what is the priority next. If you've got any ideas about what you want to see, let me know, because I'm always keen. I'm always keen. There we go. That's the ticket. That is exactly what we're after. Nice and simple. None of this whole spinning out of control nonsense. Nice and easy. Brilliant. Uh, we can stop over here because the jewelers is right behind us. That's excellent. Let's go and have a little look. Again, I, I say it every time that I come to the jewelers instead of going to the stock market. I should investigate. I should investigate the idea of going to the stock market. 
It's just... I just... <laughs> right, no, no joy with that. No matter, we've still got another two gold bars. So this is gonna, what, net us maybe like four or five hundred in total? I reckon. You wanna stay, you wanna just stay on here? There we go, nice and easy. Okay, so 277, this is a, another pretty chunky gold bar that we're gonna be able to, that we're gonna be able to get. I think the, the magnet stick is about 400 bucks. There we go. So we should have plenty of cash. Plenty, plenty, plenty of cash. Yeah. Can I uh, combine these coin piles? There we go. Wonderful. 564. So, 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 so. 564. What will that get me? Well, the magnet stick, which is over here, it's a magnet on a stick. It attracts resources when activated. Hmm. Okay. Question mark. That costs magnet on a stick, magnet staff. Okay, well, we can only get the small magnet staff at the moment. Or, sorry, the small magnet stick at the moment. Big difference, apparently. A conveyor shredder, a conveyor splitter, vertical conveyor belt. I mean, conveyor belts absolutely are things that we want to get. I don't think there's anything else that we really want to get for now, with the exception of magnet on a stick. There we go. So let's do it. Let's buy it. Let's uh, let's take the change back. And let's see if we can try and get a magnet on a stick. I mean, we do need to get the conveyors at some point. How much are the conveyors actually going to end up costing me? I mean, how many conveyors do I reasonably need to have? Probably not that many, to be honest. We probably need some vertical belts. So we probably need about a grand, maybe, and a bit in order to in order to make it all work. Uh, yeah, can't forget my magnet on a stick. And uh, presumably, I just stick this in... The Thank you. Easy peasy. All right, the magnet in a stick is in a very peculiar location, but that is completely fine with me. Uh, all right, so we'll head back, we'll test this magnet on the stick, and then we will see what the heck happens. So we're aiming to try and get all of the resources into the crucible as quickly as possible. Now, will this present us with a problem? Uh, because I don't know if you stick all of the resources in the crucible if they will actually end up combining or if they will actually end up disappearing. Don't know if gold, for example, melted gold overwrites melted iron. That might be a problem if that's the case because then we'll end up losing half of our half of our yield. And that's not something that I'm very keen on. However, if it doesn't do that, then we'll be in a I've just seen the Matrix. I've just seen the Matrix. Okay. Firstly, let's get our Crucible. Let's get our Crucible, and let's see if we can maneuver. There we go. Wonderful. Okay, Magnet on a stick now. So. Oh, goodness gracious me. Oh, it's some shenanigans here. Oh my giddy aunt. Into the crucible. Oh, it's it's a joy to behold. Look at this. Look at this, folks. Look at this. Look at this. This is effective cleaning right now. Holy cow. Okay, it did go very, very... Did go very, very frame ratey for a second there, but that is because I'm moving thousands and thousands and thousands of particles of gold into the crucible there. Oh man, this is actually super efficient. This is super efficient. You might need to do that there. What happens when you melt a ruby? It's a great question. We'll find out in just a sec. Okay. Give me all the good stuff. I must say, it, it is a little bit... It is a little bit slow on the whole, uh, the whole movement. It's not very attractive. But you know what? It works. It works, it works, it works. What happens when you just melt literally everything in a big pot? I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. Oh, this is good. This, uh, this is... Look at how effective this was. Look at how effective this was. As long as we're able to, you know, separate out the resources, like, in the pour, I reckon this is going to be totally fine. All right. Unbelievably, you allow me to pick up the pot video game. That That is a surprise. Let's see what happens. I mean, this is a lot of junk in here. A lot of junk. I, I have no idea how much gold this is going to net me. Uh, I need to conduct some repairs whilst I'm waiting. There we go. That's looking good. We need to start thinking about pressure, by the way, and uh, and max pressurizing the uh, the system. But that is not necessarily a problem. No, sorry. All right. Keep on, keep on keeping on. 
What happens when you melt shards? No idea. What happens when you melt rubies? No idea. What happens when you melt iron and gold together? No idea at all. In fact, there's so many unknowns here that it is, it is actually, I mean, significantly terrifying. Those are two words that you won't really find together in a sentence. However, I pride myself on trying to find those combination of words, especially when they sound as awkward as they just sounded right there. That's when you know you're reaching, you're reaching peak commentary. Right, smash that down the hole there, and then let's have a little look. Oh, it's created a gooey goodness. A gooey, gooey goodness. Okay, so what's going to happen? A gold bar. Have we still got more gold to pour out? No, we just literally have a gold bar. There's That's literally... Okay, so there's literally... Literally one gold bar is what we got from all of that. Well, truth be told, I, I really want to see how much this gold bar is actually worth, because... Well, first of all, it contains literally hundreds of resources that I have just smelted into one singular gold bar. This is kind of what I was talking about. Like, does the gold override everything else? Turns out that it absolutely does. What's the value of it, though? 1,320. Okay, you know what? Maybe I can tolerate that. <laughs> maybe. Maybe, just maybe, I'm totally okay with all of that. <laughs> all of those resources that just disappeared. Yes, thank you very much. I will take that. I will take that right now. Oh boy. I mean that is quite a that is quite a that is quite a haul actually. That is really really rather nice. That is really really rather nice. And already we're back. We're back. We're ba we're just back. We're back. We're back. This is this is great. I mean that was just How did a lamp get there? Uh, that was just the goal by the way. So I mean that that wasn't even particularly particularly impressive. Also, you know what I need to do? I need to see if I can get another outlet pipe. I'm going to see if I can do a little bit of pipe management. I'm going to see if I can put a little bit more pressure through my pipes. So we've got a couple of additional, we've got a couple of additional uh, pipes over here. We're going to see if we can get a water intake pipe. So the water intake pipe, uh, what does it intake at? It intakes at 50% pressure. So I'm actually going to take, yeah, I think two, two water intake pipes. That's totally fine. I don't want the valve. I want another water T pipe. Yeah, so let's buy that, right? And then we are just going to basically hook it up to the system. And I think that this should just spike the pressure a little bit, which is going to mean slightly more efficient mining. So at the moment, you can see water pressure is a little bit lame. Now, obviously, it's going to decrease a lot by the time that it gets to this machine because each and every one of these segments takes uh, an additional 1% uh, out of the system. But that's okay. We can we can definitely tolerate that. I'm totally okay with that. Wow. I, I still can't believe that the that, that gold bar netted me 1,320 go, 20 gold. That that is that is insane. I, I'm lost for words. I am actually shocked. That's kind of brilliant though. Right, where's my hammer? I need my hammer in order to smack this out of place. I mean this is this is it, folks. We've we've made our we've made our millions. We've made our millions. This is this is oh so fantastic. Alright, whoa. Okay, so we want to rotate this into that orientation. Has the pressure spiked? No. Interestingly enough, it hasn't spiked. However, that may be for two reasons. First of all, first of all, we need to make sure that we get the thingamabobber repaired. Yeah, okay, so by the way, I've definitely only got one spanner left in this... Uh, left in this toolbox, which means that that's a non-replenishable resource, which is kind of a little bit lame, but that's okay. That's totally fine. Um, if we want to, can we get a pressure shard boosting pressure pipe? Pressure shard boosting pressure pipe? Yeah, yeah, this, this makes sense. This makes sense. Just, just roll with this. Uh, we can get one, but we can't get it from this store. Okay, so that makes me think, that makes me think that even if we put two water... Uh, two water, two water intake pipes together, then that actually doesn't make any difference to the pressure. Like we're still limited to a fifty percent like input pressure there, which is, which is somewhat of a, which is somewhat of a bummer. But that's that's fine. Look, you know we, you play the game, you play the game by its own rules. That's that's totally fine. How are we doing? How are we doing over here? We're doing very very well, very 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 well. I mean this is this is just brilliant. This is just fantastic. This is just wonderful. 
Okay, so in the meantime, let me, let me see, let me see if I can go over to the shop and I will buy the last thing in this shop that I do not have or have not bought thus far. There we go. And I believe, well, actually, there's the fishing rod as well, which I need to buy, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to bother with that. I'm going to buy the, I'm going to buy the mining helmet, actually. I'm going to buy the mining helmet, 361. Yep. Thank you. No. Okay. Can I, uh... Okay. There we go. That easy. Okay. Q to wear. How do I... How do I... How do I light it? I need to activate it, then put it on my head. I mean... It... I'm not gonna say that this is a... I guess it I guess it works all right to be honest it, it does make it does make mining under here just a little bit more a little bit easier to see what's going on especially given the fact that this is a indeed a YouTube video the fact that it obscures half the screen I would I would describe that as suboptimal frankly uh, however that's life sometimes you know life is about dealing with half of the screen being obscured by a mining helmet didn't granddaddy teach you that? No, the gosh darn, gosh darn life's about tolerating a half-occupied screen with a mining helmet. That's right. Okay, well, I, I can't say that I, you know, I'm absolutely desperate to, to continue to wear this thing, frankly. But, uh, but I'm not. I'm not very desperate to continue to wear this thing. So let's take it off. I mean, is it just, it's literally just a lamp stapled onto the front of a, to the front of a mining helmet. Okay, fine. Right, so whilst we're waiting for the the uh, the machine and the process to do its job we're actually just going to do a little bit more prospecting because i'm actually a little bit hopeful that maybe today maybe today's the day that we move off this plot now i know that i haven't explored everything that this plot has to offer believe me i'm very well aware there is a there's a whole bunch of stuff that, uh, that we haven't yet mucked around with uh, including there's a there's something to do with a cave and there's something to do with like artifacts and whatnot so basically the way that I understand it is uh, is that there are certain artifacts that you can find just by digging through the map however we're not going to be able to dig through the entirety of the map by ourselves and so you know I suggest that we come back to this location once we've maybe got uh, a little bit more a little bit more cash a little bit more machinery in which to excavate the area yeah, I really don't like how sometimes you just don't line up. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's a sapphire, isn't it? Where'd you go? That is indeed, that is indeed a big gemstone. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. That makes, that makes the equation oh so much better. Very, very big thumbs up from me, dog. That's, that's real good. Don't know why I felt compelled to throw a dog in at the end there. That's not usually... Not usually a word that you'll find me using, but you know what? Today's a special day. It's, an, it's a special occasion today. Purely because we're going to be moving out. We're going to be we're going to be flying flying the roost, flying from the nest, sailing for the skies, something something like that. I don't know. Is there a bucket down here? There's no there's no bucket down here. We got all the buckets. Cool. All right. Let's get this stuff smelted up then maybe let's uh let's dip into our stockpile dip into our stockpile over in the other I guess what is that is the other shaft I guess the organized the organized area the area that doesn't look terrible also what's this why is there a little bit of dirt over here do I want to pan this dirt am I feeling lucky you feeling lucky punk I am not feeling lucky I well, wow that's uh for what I assumed was just a, a terrible little bit of dirt I'll take it. I'll actually take it. Okay, whap that in there. Get that all melted down. Brilliant. That leaves us with a little bit of iron. Of course, how could I forget? A wonderful gemstone, which is going to be refined into a sapphire. In fact, I think we probably want to see if we can try and make ourselves a ring. There we go. A ring. Let's pour, pour one out for the boys, as you know. Then let's heat one up for the the boys. No, that doesn't really have the same ring to it, frankly. Doesn't really have anywhere near the same ring to it. All right, so whap that on there. Boom, we got ourselves a ring. 
That is wonderful. Okay, cool. Let's get the iron smelted up just as, I guess, a little bit of extra cash, right? Might as well. We'll turn it into a dagger or something. Turn it into a dagger in just a second. There we go. And just like that, we end up getting ourselves we end up getting ourselves some good stuff. I like it a lot. That's that's everything. That's everything that we've got. Yeah, we've extracted everything. All of our buckets are empty. Fantastic. Uh, oh yeah, I need to change to a dagger. Down there. It's a decently sized dagger. Wonderful. Let's pop this in the back. I think you know what? I don't. I don't want to say that we're ready to move out, but I mean, I think we're ready to move out. I think we are ready to move out to a bigger plot. I don't know if there's going to be more valuable stuff on other plots, but I'm excited to find out. Okay, we definitely don't have anything left in there. Let's go and take you down to the bottom of the world. Yes, I know, I know, I know. I'm going to waste a whole bunch of sapphires, a whole bunch of rubies by doing this. However, frankly, I don't really care. They're tiny sapphires anyway. It's much more important that I... Uh, that I get the cash, really, over anything else. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Even though this requires, like, a tiny little bit of manual labor, like, now and again, this is still, like, a hugely automated process. I mean, it's not perfect, not by any, you know, stretch of the imagination. Because, of course, it's still... still. In fact, you know what? That's mostly gemstones right there in that little, that little bundle. Yeah, okay, so you know what, just, excuse me, what are you doing? Video game. Okay, you know what, just chill out over there. Whoa. Oof, that was close. Alright, let's, uh, let's pop this on the, pop this on the fire, see what the heck happens. We'll, we'll get another bit of gold, and then we'll sell that bit of gold, and then we will venture out and see, maybe, if we can buy a little parcel of land. Uh, whilst we're waiting for that to heat up, why don't we have a little look-see? At, uh, at where we want to get. I kind of want to buy... I kind of want to buy South Hope. How much do you reckon South Hope would end up costing us? I feel like South Hope is the best place to go because it's near... It's near Bridgeport. It's near the shop. And I'm really keen to start... Uh, to start going to the... To the South Shop a little bit more regularly. The other shop, that is. Right. We got... Uh, we got heated... We got heated goodness. It's all going to be melted down into... Into something. I guess we can leave the shard out because that's just going to get, you know, turned into mush. All right, we're going to need to use our last repair on the on the harvester. I tell you what, though, this has been such a interesting, interesting experiment, and it's worked as well. It's absolutely blooming worked. Okay, uh, let's load up. Let's load up and uh, and let's go let's go sell. I mean, is there anything else that I want to do right now? I don't think so. I don't think that there's anything else that needs to be done. I'll need to do I'll need to do moving of equipment and whatnot. But I think that if we go and buy the plot, then that will allow us to that will allow us to start work. Yeah, sure. Okay. I think I think this is a, I think this is a good place to a good place to leave the plot. Yeah, okay, you just don't, don't even, just unstuck. Just unstuck. It's okay. It's okay, video game. It's okay, it's fine. We all, we all have issues like this uh, from time to time. Uh, can I go get my coinage just to make sure that I'm able to buy my plot? Because that is actually quite important. So that is, wow, holy cow. 1,000, 1,000 and something coins. 1,038 coins? Yeah, 1,038 coins. Let's take a little bit of piping uh, over here as well, since I might as well. The car is quite nearby. Might as well load it up. Might as well take it across there. Yeah, okay. You didn't like that one, did you? You didn't like that one. You didn't like that one. So we're going to be we're gonna be aiming to replicate pretty much the same, the same basic setup. The same basic setup, but on a wider, larger scale over at the other plot, i.e. we want to make sure that we get the Goliath drill set up as well. We want to probably have our refining facilities inside. So I kind of want to, uh, I kind of want to get a conveyor set up where we, uh, where we move dirt around and then move it into the harvester. We just go off the side here. Yep. There we go. Excellent. No, video game, you were doing so well. You were doing so well. You were doing so well. There. there yes, good. So close. So close. Very good. Very, very well recovered. Good job. Good job there. 
Okay, what if we just what if we just pootle out to to see? What would what would that do? Should we experiment? Well, I don't really want to experiment with a thousand coins in my backside. Not well, not actually in my backside. That would be that would be fairly uncomfortable. Uh, right, so this is the patch over here. How much is this going to retail for? Let's have a little look. I mean, I oh, look at this. Look at the res look at the land. Look at the size of this place. All right, let's have a little look. See what you're going for. Maybe, maybe we'll be able to afford it. Six thousand dollars. Okay, I mean, wow, that that is a lot of that is a lot of cash. But it looks it looks blooming. It looks blooming prestigious. I know for a fact. I know for a fact that I can't afford the other one. Man, look at the size of that place. Look at the size of that place. Do I maybe do I maybe not want to buy it right now and instead we try and we try and automate we try and automate our existing plot? I feel like that's maybe what we should do if if that is like so out of our reach. In saying that though, I know for a fact, I know for an absolute fact that the other plot is cheaper. I just want to, I want to shop, I, I want a plot that is in close proximity to the shop. Right, so, pop out here. Pop out here. Excellent, gold bar. 650 gold, just, just like that, nice and, nice and casually. 720, that's not too bad. And the ring, the ring is also going to be pretty big. Wow, okay, so that's literally over a thousand in, uh, uh well, almost over a thousand. Okay, so that is... That is 2,000. That is 2,000 in coins there. There we go. So that's 2,000 in coins. So that is going to allow me to do a couple of things. Let's let's head on into the shop and see exactly what we want to get. We'll plan it out in our heads. So what can we buy? We can buy the Goliath drill. Extends the arm downwards. Yields more with better water pressure. Gets damage from unfiltered water. Cool. Okay, so I mean, I want the, I want, the, I want, I need to, I need to get a tool bag. That's an absolute must. A pressure tank is is also kind of nice, increasing water pressure by twenty five percent. That's something that we're after. A water pressure gauge. We probably want to build in a couple of water pressure gauges. A wood foundation. I want to start building a wood foundation. I want to start building like, you know, a house, a little processing house. A conveyor splitter. A conveyor splitter would be absolutely incredible. In fact. I would say bordering on like the most necessary bit of equipment here. Obviously, in order to make the conveyor splitter and whatnot work, so it presumably just goes in one side, or does it come go in from the top, or it must go in from like must go in on one side, must go in on one side, must go come out on the other. Either way, we get one splitter, and what the heck is that? What the heck is that? Gold, iron. Okay, we actually need to get two conveyor splitters if that's the case, because we will be sorting for, we will be we will sort once for gold and then sort once for iron and then all of the rest can just go off the end. So what does that come to? Nine hundred and thirteen. Uh, so we should probably see if we can try and get some elements of verticality in here. So I think we're gonna need at least two, at least two vertical bits. Okay, I tell you what, this is going to be an expensive, this is going to be an expensive shop. However, I think it'll actually, it'll actually be totally fine. Right, let's hop in here. I could buy the truck, by the way. I could buy the, the excavation truck, although I think that that just destroys dirt. The one with the big, you know, the one with the big meat grinder on the front of it. That is the technical term, by the way. You can see it right over there, the meat, the meat grinder thing. I think it just destroys the dirt. So we don't want to we don't want to faff around with that too too much. But when I you know when I get to the point where I'm able to excavate then uh, in large quantity, then that's exactly what we're gonna do. Okay, I also need to get myself a tool bag. Do I need any? Do I need any other stuff? I did say that I needed a water pressure tank. So that's all that's all factored into there. Cool. Let's just buy that right now. Let's get this stuff loaded onto the back of the uh, to the back of the wagon. This is gonna this is gonna absolutely not fit. However, I'm gonna try and. I'm gonna try and do that thing that you try and do with the groceries. You know, when you're taking the groceries between the between the car and the house, you're gonna just you're gonna completely overexert yourself to the point of to the point of please don't disappear. It's very important that you do not disappear. I've invested a lot of money on this. I'm gonna try and squeeze absolutely everything onto my to my poor fingertips. Okay, we definitely need more just like regular conveyor belt. In fact, I would wager that I need at least two or three more bits of regular conveyor. That pressure tank is nice. To be honest, 
I'm not worried about the pressure tank situation. Like, we can always pick up more pipes. Sorry, I'm not worried about the pipe situation. We can always pick up more pipes. There. Okay, this is actually fitting. This is this is great. How much how much money do we have? 430? Okay, conveyor belts. Conveyor belt. And what's another conveyor belt gonna cost? That's 520. I mean, I can afford one. I can afford one. Do I need anything else right now? There's a conveyor... Yeah, there's a conveyor shredder. I don't need a conveyor shredder at the moment. That's that's absolutely something that I do not need. Cuts metal bars clean in half. I don't really know why I would ever need that. And the scales as well. Scales might come in handy. Alright, so this is it. This is it. We are clean out of cash. We are clean... Clean out of cash. No, 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 no. Thank goodness they can't get damaged from, uh, from, from falling, because otherwise... Did that, did that go down? I think that went down, okay. Okay, and then the scales, to see exactly how much we're, we're gonna end up getting. Wow, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked that everything fit on the back of this wagon. That's great, though. That's real good news. All right, let's trundle on home and then see what the heck happens once we start to get all of this infrastructure down. I'm very optimistic. Very, very optimistic, in fact. We're going to make loads of money. It's automated processing. It's taking automated processing to the next level, 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 level. I can't reverse. I can't reverse. I'm giving it all she's got. And yet, here we are. Can I just go up the river? I kinda can. It's off-roading a little bit. A little bit cheeky, cheeky off-roading. All right, I honestly feel like, honestly feel like I've just been returned to a previous save point. Should we do this in reverse just for a little bit of extra challenge? He said very confidently, knowing full well that it probably wouldn't end up going uh, smoothly. All right, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Well done. Well done to me, I guess. All right, no. Easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, so first things first. Absolutely need to hit the sack just for a second, just to refresh the day. Wonderful. And then we can start, we can start to work on this, on this thing of beauty. Right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is clear a little bit of space around here. Because we are going to want to, oh, I didn't get a toolbox, did I? I totally didn't get a toolbox. I don't think. That could present us with a problem. Okay. Uh, I also didn't take my cash from the last place, but there was only like 20 gold left. Although that 20 gold is probably pretty important for, for foundations. Anyway, uh, let's pick up the stick. Let's get everything... Let's get everything sort of tidied up. Let's put it on this little natural shelf there just for a second. Nice and easy. Nice and gently. There we go. Okay, cool. Fine, 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 fine. No major no major issues there. Right, the next thing that we need to do... So one of the one of the filters just ended up giving up the ghost. That's actually not a problem. We just end up... Okay, Im immediately there's another problem with the filter. And now there's another problem with the filter. Okay, so... They're, they're both both filters have a problem or they just are considered one filter block when they're in sequence with each other Doesn't particularly matter to me. I, I'm okay with that, right? Let's get some of the equipment unloaded and let's see if we can let's see if we can do this so Right, I think can I go? Can I go? I think I need to go onto a belt in the first instance and then it'll shoot up It'll shoot up the conveyor. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. I think it's going to work just fine. Right, so 
like that. Is that a little bit too high? That that definitely looks too high. Right, but then again, that, that comes with its own interesting little problem. Because that looks too low. I don't want it to look I don't want it to look too low. Yeah. Okay, well. I'm just gonna assume I'm gonna assume that that is an appropriate way for the system to work. However, the more that I look at it, the less convinced I am by these words that are coming out of my mouth. Right. Let's excavate a bunch of territory. Let's excavate a bunch of dirt here. There we go. Get the trusty trusty pickaxe. What I'm really worried about is the velocity at which these, these bits of dirt are going to be coming out at. That's what worries me. Right. Also, the, the whole... Uh, the whole coming back up to the surface thing, it's not really essential. However, it does it does feel like the right thing to do in terms of, you know, we want to have our processing facility on the surface. Therefore, all of our processing needs to be done on the surface. Well, we'll just we'll see we'll see how it works. Okay, I need this thing next. Brilliant. So let's plonk you down. What there? Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, then I guess we need a conveyor splitter. So can the conveyor splitter just go in right there? Yes. Is there an input side or is there an output side? Right, we need to test for dirt. No, not dirt, sorry. Is that, that first one might be dirt, actually. Just thinking about it now. Okay. But uh, I don't think we'll ever really need to test for dirt. Right, so let's clear a little bit of space out here. This is where our first anvil, no, our first furnace setup is going to go. And in fact, I think I probably want to put a bit of foundation in here. It's rare stuff, this foundation. Right. So... We need to actually we need to actually dig this deeper because we're gonna need to put in a bit of foundation, we're gonna need to put in our furnace, and then we're gonna need to have space for our crucible. Right. I'm also assuming that all of the pipes underneath this system link up properly. But there's no guarantee that that's the case either. Okay. Do we have anything in here? No, we don't have anything in here. Take that off the heat. Right. So Yeah, that needs to go in there, actually. However, I suspect that we're going to need to stick in a foundation first. There we go. Looking very, very good. And let's stick in the crucible on top of that. So sticking the crucible in on top of that should give us... Should give us plenty, plenty drop. <laughs> Let me out. Let me out of here, video game. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, it should give us plenty drop on the whole on the whole shebang. Okay, should we try running it? Should we try running it? We need to try and get it connected up via via the pipe network, uh, which is a problem because pipe network at the moment is kind of in a little bit of a garbage state. Okay, so we just connect we just connect this up with just regular old regular old pipe, I think. Cool. All right. Well, we've got another intake pipe, which I'm going to use specifically for conveyor purposes. So let's go and see if we can get that set up. Right. Again, this whole this whole setup might need a little bit of reworking because, you know, this is the first time that I'm doing it. So bear with, please. I will say it does look it does look quite good. And I'm also I know I'm like destroying like a whole bunch of dirt, but let's be let's be brutally honest just for a second, right? The dirt on the top layer is of very little interest to me, especially when it comes to like mining manually. I'm quite prepared to let the machine do do the job, but I'm not going to mine this manually. No sorry, not ever. Right, so do these pipes connect up under here automatically? They look like they do. They look like they sort of just chain together automatically, which is kind of great. That's really, really good. In fact, that's really, really good. Right, so we need to basically link up this output right here, or this inlet right there, with a brand new, a brand new intake pipe, which, well, I say brand new. Okay, unhammer that, unhammer that. 
Okay, right over here. Yeah, it's fine. We can uh, we can readjust as we go. Stick that in there. Uh, it's gonna make an annoying dribbling noise for a while now, isn't it? Yeah. Try over here. Yeah. Okay. That looks that looks good. Right. So, do we have any spare bits of pipe around? We do actually have a couple of spare bits of pipe around. Is it gonna be enough pipe? Is it gonna be enough pipe? Well, I would probably bet no. No, it won't. Because I think we're gonna need I think we're gonna need some more. Okay, take that off. That's that's an important piece of the puzzle. That's an important piece of the puzzle. In fact, there are lots of different important pieces of the puzzle. Where did my other Oh, goodness gracious me. Okay, scales. Let's put some scales down over here. We'll just stick them down to tide things over for a while. Yeah, we cannot we cannot get this. We cannot lose this. It's a very important piece of very important piece of equipment. Right, so it leaves us with an elbow joint and some other stuff. Right. Well, I think what has now become brutally apparent to me is that we have nowhere near enough piping in order to... Okay, st stop doing what you're doing. Nowhere near enough piping to finish the the pipe connection to over here. We probably need about, I don't know, 200, 200 gold maybe. We don't actually need that much cash in order to in order to get us across the line. So let's do let's do some manual prospecting for Uno Secondi. And then we can return to our return to our day job of building an, an automated empire. Oh man, this is so good. This is so good. I am so happy with how this is going. I gotta be honest. I'm I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving every second of it. Where the heck is my mining helmet? Where did where did the where did my mining helmet go? Where did Granddaddy the Granddaddy always told me to keep the mining helmet safe? Oh, he would be so disappointed right now. He would be so disappointed right now. Are you telling me that I bought a I bought a three hundred and sixty buck mining helmet just to just to wear it one time? Yep, the Granddaddy always said not to do that. But you know what? Granddaddy's gone. Gotta make, gotta make my own, gotta make my own, my own dreams come true, or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. This is frankly embarrassing. Uh, do we have any more buckets here? There we go. All right. So a good amount, a good amount of, uh, a good amount of bucket action going on right there. Let's drag you over to here. I tell you what. You know, for all of this, for all of this automated nonsense, right? For all of this automated nonsense, there is something very, very satisfying about just, you know, going down a hole, mining some dirt, excuse me, and, uh, and you know, just shoveling it off and brushing it off and getting left with nothing. Yes, yeah, so satisfying. So unbelievably satisfying. That, that is what this is all about, though, folks. That is what this is all about. Uh, also, my crucible ain't here anymore, so that's a bit of a problem. I'm gonna need to rework my plans a little bit. That's okay. I mean, we can obviously still use it manually for a while until until it starts to be automated. There we go, looking good. Man, I'm just I can't wait. I, I mean, the amount of gold that I'm gonna have stored in a crucible is gonna be is gonna be an incredible amount. It's gonna be real, real good. There we go. There we go. Look at this. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, video game. Much appreciated. Actually, you know what I think I'm going to do? Just for just for the ease of ease of everyone. The crucible, by the way, uh, and the thingamabobber, the the furnace might actually be in a in a bad position. I don't know if I don't know if the resource is going to shoot out of the the splitter. If it does, that might present us with a new challenge, as in where the heck do we put the crucible? Also, I should I should mention I do need to get another crucible furnace combo. Now they aren't too expensive, if I can recall, so we shouldn't have too much too much of a challenge with that. But it's just something that we need to think about. Okay, uh, I cannot convert a single gold anything, a single gold bar into anything of note, so. That's fine, uh, but we will be able to convert the iron into a dagger. Let's 
Let's do that. Excellent. Yep, there we go. There we go, wonderful. Let's load this up on the truck whilst we're waiting. Unload this. And unload the cork as well. We may need the cork at some point. Okay. Hey, what do you know? What do you know? We end up with a decent system. Okay, uh, let's drive to the shop. It's just easier to unstuck so that I'm already halfway turned around. All right. So what are we looking for? What are we looking for out of this whole process? All right. Have I managed to stuck myself even more? Wow, that's that's absolutely incredible. Reverse video game. Are we are we empty? Are we straight up empty? We're straight up empty on uh, on the old waterfront. It's fine to be honest. All right, we just uh, we do two refills. It's totally fine. I presume we're on empty. Yeah, we're we're straight up empty. Very very disappointing. Very totally disappointing. All right, do do two refills and we'll be golden. All right. There we go. I wonder if there is a way to automate our refills. Oh, I guess we could make like a, a refill station. Do you not think with like pipes and a, you know, pipes and a water connection? I think that's a great idea, in fact. Okay, drop that in there. Wonderful. Easy. The hydro truck lives to be parched another day. Reverse. Reverse, 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 reverse. Before we go too down the hill. And end up slipping into the oblivion of a soft descent. Oh, that was close. Right, no collision, please. Thank you. Brilliant. Boop. All right, we've arrived. So, how much are we looking for? Yeah, 200 to 300 bucks would honestly sort me right out. Anything really in that vicinity would be fantastic. How much is the sword going to reach? It always reaches a woefully inadequate amount, as far as I'm concerned. As I say, 200 to 300 bucks. I said that would be enough. I hope it will be. That was far too close for comfort. I must say, though, I'm becoming an old hand when it comes to when it comes to when it comes to reversing down that hill. I like it a lot. Okay, so just a lot of straight pipe, really. A lot of straight pipe. I keep thinking the connection is going to be quite far. It's not actually that far. Like it, it is. It's it's some distance, but it's it's not super far. And look, we've got the ability to get like ten of these pipes with just with just the cash that we've got at the moment. So eighty eight. Let's buy four. Let's go see if we can get these guys plumbed in like right now. Uh, we're gonna need two elbow bends. Two elbow bends is is what we're after. Gonna need to stick an elbow bend like right yeah like right right above here. I think that's totally fine. Also, uh, there was a... Oh, what is this? What is this? There's this cheeky bit of gold just hanging around. Lovely. Yeah, I cannot recall if there was actually another elbow bend around somewhere. I'm, I'm almost certain that there was. And yet, here we are with me still unable to find it. Also, let's have a little snooze. Just so that we can refresh the day. I tell you what, I always love games. I always love games. My mining helmet, by the way, is under this flipping map somewhere. You can... It's... It's there somewhere. It's there somewhere. Granddaddy's mining helmet is, is, is under that dirt somewhere. Yeah, you can always tell. You can always tell a good game when it allows you to sleep and skip through the night portion. As a, as a content creator... Gosh, I hate that term. I hate that term on such a visceral level that I... I actually feel embarrassed whenever I say it. Honestly, who says, oh, I'm a content creator? Content creator. It's like, oh, it's just awful. Anyway, look, j look, discussion, discussion for another time. Let's talk about Hydraneer in the video game. Uh, yeah, I love it when, I love it when games allow you to sleep through the night. It's, uh, it's so good. It really is good. Okay, so far so good. I think that we're going to have absolutely, absolutely enough money to, to get us across the line here. 
And once we've got enough money to start doing that, then I think we should be able to just start refining stuff. Apart from the fact, of course, that we need to get some screwdrivers, which is, I mean, deeply irritating. That's quite a cool effect, actually, that Granddaddy's mining helmet's having on the, uh, having on the world there. Okay, so what is that? That's, uh, we need, what, like three more pipes, I think, and then an elbow bend, and then we're going to need another elbow bend as well. So... That is very, very achievable with the current cash that we've got. We've got, what, 124 left? Okay, so let's get a elbow pipe. Excellent. And then three more water pipes. I think we should just have enough. There we go. Might need a fourth water pipe, but, uh, but I'm sure that that'll be fine. Uh, we'll just bring it across. We'll just bring it across as, as much as we can. We'll see what happens, right? I haven't really taken into account the fact that there is a vertical element to this. So I was just thinking three across to here and then oh, we might need a couple down actually. Hmm. We might be a little, a little low on cash. However, 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 I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be okay. I'm sure it'll be totally okay. Man, the worst, the worst part of this game is walking between the shop and the pipe. I wish you could just like load pipes up onto your back. I mean, you know, just carry them in a bundle or something. You know, imagine if you were able to drop pipes into a bundle like you were able to drop coins into a bundle. Legitimately think that that would be a great idea. Legitimately, unironically think that that would be a great idea to do. Okay, let's get our elbow bend in now. Excuse me. Yep, thank you. Right, so then we drop down. Right, so we get it oriented like that. We do the there we go. That's looking very, very good. Right. So, 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 so. We can we can use this pressure increaser thing here. You know, that's apparently we cannot use this pressure thing increaser. So, as far as I'm aware, I don't think you can actually flip that around to to be used vertically. Maybe that's just because it's a special bit of pipe, as opposed to uh, as opposed to regular pipe. So, how much does that leave us with? Thirty six bucks. Oh. We're going to be able to buy one more water pipe. There we go. Uh, okay, so we'll take this across. I think we might be a single bit of pipe short. A single bit of pipe short, really. Either that or two pipes short. Okay, so we want to level this up here. Other direction, thanks. There we go. Okay, and then we just need to line up two or three bits of pipe. And oh, this is so unbelievably frustrating. Not to mention the fact that we do need, we do need, we do, 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 do need a repair kit. We do need a repair kit. That's going to cost us 220 bucks. And that's one. Okay, you know what? We can fix this. We can fix this. First of all, let's cork up that exit. There we go. Cork that up right there. Excuse me. Can I, I would love to cork this up. <laughs> Yeah, we, I'm sure. Yeah, we can just place a cork. Or, in fact, we could place it in the location that I want to place it in. Yeah. Alright, all right, sure. That's that's a thing. That's... that's that's. What a remarkable... What a remarkable world we live in, eh? T. Hey, we did it. Okay, so. Let's get this linked up there. That, I don't suppose that works, does it? I don't suppose so. Okay, we do have the shard thing, which we can stick into... Which we can stick into the pipe here. I think it works. <gasps> it works. It totally, totally works. Look, look at this. Look at this, folks. It totally, totally works. Also, the gold came out there, which means that it actually worked exactly as intended. Did we just did we just actually do it? I think we actually just did it. I think we actually just did it. Okay. First things first. Let's get this reconnected. Let's get this uh also, can I ride? Can I ride these things? I cannot ride these things. I can't ride them up anyway. Fine. Uh okay, that is that is a really Okay, this this is this is beyond the joke. That needs to be sorted out. Uh so let's get the crucible in here as well. Uh I've already got a little bit of gold just chilling around in there. I'll just cast it real quick. Okay, that's really, really nice. So, then, here's what we do. Here's what we do. Here's what we do. Here's what we do. Hmm, actually. Actually, I was a way to say, why don't we try sticking... 
why don't we try just grabbing our stick and then just sticking all that stuff on there? That is a that is an option. That is an option. However, it brings with it certain problems. Is that this machine is going to spew out everything that's not gold to the back, and we've already got a pipe there. Uh, okay, let's try with this slightly smaller pile of, of junk. I mean, valuable resource. All right, come on. Uh, you can just see it at the bottom of the screen there. There we go. Wonderful. Good stuff. And onto the belt and drop. Looks good to me. Looks good to me. Looks good to me. Looks very, very good to me. Very, very good to me. Instantly pulverized into gold. Two bits of gold right there, which I'm also going to stick in. Which I'm also going to stick into the pot. If indeed I can. There we go. Probably would have been easier just to pick them up, but... There we go. Look at that. Okay. Wonderful. So that ended up sorting all of the gold into the pot. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm actually just going to do exactly the same with this pile. The vast majority of it's gold anyway. So, right? I mean, that's... Whoops. We are sorting for gold, aren't we? We are definitely sorting for gold. It is definitely working. It is definitely working. I'm 100% confident. That's how confident I am. 100%. Okay, so pick up this stuff. I actually really like the way that this magnet works. Okay. Over to here and drop. Nice. Good stuff. Okay, so we should watch all of the... Hey, look at that. It works. Works like an absolute charm. Works like an absolute charm. Very, very, very chuffed with that, in fact. There's water going everywhere. But you know what? We've got an automated... We've got an automated furnace now. Okay. Wonderful. Yes. Very good. And let's watch more gold. Oh, look at that. It works. It works. It works. It works. It works. It works. Okay, that is... That is such a great... That is such a great little, uh, little step. I mean, honestly... Kind of impressed. Kind of impressed that that, um, that that worked as well as it did. And you know what? This provides us with a brilliant opportunity now to use our scales for the first time to actually see how much this gold bar is going to be. Probably not that much. I would wager 400 uh, because, you know, we haven't really used it that much. Okay, so scales right there. So 45 bucks? Only 45 bucks? Really? Is that is that it? That's, that's pretty disappointing to be honest. 45 45 bucks is this this is my brand new my brand new craft bit of gold? Oh no, hold on. Wait. This is the this is the old the old stuff. This is the new one, right? Give me the new one. This is the one that we just made. 156. That's a little bit more like it. That is a little bit more like it. It's still not super super duper great, but it's uh it's not too bad. Okay, so, 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 the next stage, we next stage, which I actually think that we can still accomplish, we can still accomplish right now, do we have any, oh, we do have a cut gemstone, we do have a cut gemstone, let's make a, let's make a necklace real quick, let's get a, let's get a cheap little emerald, just that we can throw into a necklace formation, okay, stick this down over here, let's get these two gold bars heated up, yeah, I'm just gonna stick them on the, uh, Stick them on the... In fact, you know what? Just remove the... Oh, it's a I keep falling down this hole. Dreadful. Dreadful affliction. Right. So, we need to do a couple of things. First of all... No! Yes! Okay, great. So, let's make a necklace. Let's make a necklace in the first instance. We've already got a... You know, a terrible little bit of... A terrible little bit of gold. A terrible little bit of gold? No, not a terrible little bit of gold. A, a, a decent amount of gold, actually. Uh, we got a terrible little gemstone thing, which we can just... Yeah, we've already smashed on there. Let's select the necklace type. Then let's pick up our bits of gold. Okay, that's not going to get us anywhere soon if we keep on having that fall off. Okay, wonderful. I do like the range. The range of my arms seem to be rather incredible. Okay, and that necklace. So, I mean, what, the value of the gemstone, pretty much negligible. But the two bits of gold were worth 46 and 156 in total. So about 200. So what? how much value have we added? Uh, we've maybe added about 50 value. 
to this uh, to this necklace. So that is really really good, in fact. And so it's two ninety two ninety one. So that gives us that gives us what? That gives us a surplus of about seventy gold if we wanted to go to the shop and pick up some and pick up some uh, some bits and bobs. To be honest, let me do let me do something real quick. Let me do one more prospecting mission. Because I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. Now that we've actually got a consistent a consistent supply of gems, we should in fact be able to make gold necklaces with uh, with relative ease, actually. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna prospect once. We're gonna do one micro mission of prospecting. In fact, let me see if I can find Granddaddy's helmet. Nope. Hey, Granddaddy's helmet. We got it. Right. Granddaddy would be proud. Right. So. Smash some dirt in some buckets. Story of my life in it. Smash some dirt in the buckets. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. So, yeah. Three loads. And I'll take a load up with me as well. Cool. Cool. Let's keep this helmet on just for a second because it's quite I don't know. I feel like I feel like maybe it's going to help uh you know, it's going to help with the the romantic life if you know what I mean. That's right. You just walk up to uh, you know, you turn up to a blind date with this helmet on. Irresistible. Absolutely irresistible. Nothing. Okay, well, that's unbelievably disappointing. Granddaddy's helmet, you're, you're disregarded. You didn't help. I thought you were going to be my lucky helmet for a second there. Alas, it was not to be. Right, one more dirt bucket down here. And then we're going to be able to craft this. Cool. Uh, so, the at the moment, the conveyor network is a little bit underdeveloped. We're going to need to develop that further. Um, obviously, I will be developing that further. I say, I say obviously like it's not completely obvious that that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Because we still, of course, need to buy another, another, wow. Okay, uh, yeah, so let's go to the Crucible. Crucible's over here. You just fell right through the Crucible there. Bit of ducket. There we go. Okay, so that's quite a nice. That pan makes quite a nice crucible rest, I tell you. Right. So let's put this on the boil. It's getting stuck in the process, as you do. There we go. Wonderful. Yeah. So we're gonna need to buy. We're gonna need to buy a toolkit, right? So far, so good. And then after that, we need to buy. We need to buy a couple more bits of pipe, but that's it, really. That's it. Yeah, so I think that's why that's why we wanted to go prospecting just that one time more. So we've got just that little bit more cash to keep us going. All right, come on. Come on, come on, come on. You get melted down at some point today. Gold has a notoriously low melting point, so the fact that you've not melted yet is, is quite irritating. There we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, pop this in there. Excellent. I'm going to run an experiment now, by the way, folks. So that's going to go into here, right? Pop that back on the furnace. Should be like microseconds before... Goodness gracious me. Microseconds before that's all ready to rock and roll. So then, we're going to run our experiment right now. So, what's the price of this gold right here? That's 111. 111, great. So let's pick up a gemstone. Just anyone will do. They're all really the same size, I think. Sure, we'll, we'll go with a ruby this time. Go with a ruby. Yep, we'll use the upside down machine there. Uh, okay, let's see how much this ruby ends up costing. Also, let's just snooze. Cannot forget the necklace that's underneath my bed. It's loaded up right now, shall we? Okay, cool. Right, so how much is the ruby worth? It's right there. You can barely see it. Maybe, maybe honestly, just selling rubies is uh, 
is a good idea if indeed they they retail for an appropriate amount. Seven seven bucks. Wow. So in total, in total that comes to 119. Cool. Okay, so now we've got our now we've got our test. Now now we've got our test. 119 is uh, is what we're gonna beat. I'm just gonna get that poured right over there. Let's get this iron bar on the. Okay, this is I mean Im immensely inconvenient at this moment in time. However, we will be fine. Oh, actually, before before we do this, I want to just take this. Uh, I want to take this bar over to the scales and weigh it. So we've already got the bit of ruby on there at the moment, but that's fine. 35. Okay, so. Without the ruby, presumably it'll be 35 minus 7, so like 28. I'm assuming. Yep, 27. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. So, 135 is is what we got to go, is what we got to go for. Uh, we want to see how much value we're going to add. Right, so not a necklace. Instead, I'm making a ring. Right? So the ring... So this was 119 plus 7. Okay, so 126. 126 into how much how much money? How much value have we added? 126 into 153. We'll never know. 153. So we've added like 25 additional value. Actually, I mean, it's not terrible, to be honest. Not terrible. For a little bit of extra effort. Okay, that needs to be reheated. And then this, this went from, from what, 28 or something? I think this went from 28 up to, let's have a little look. 28 up to... Okay, we're going to have to be real quick with this one. Thirty-four. Okay, so barely any like noticeable improvement there. Okay, th this is all. This is all important. This is all very, very interesting stuff. Uh, I like this. This is. This is good. This is. This is how we make money. This is how we test like adding value. It's very important to do. Okay, let's unstuck ourselves. Uh, I am very low on water, but I am totally confident that we're going to be absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about at all. Cool. All right, let's go. Okay, do I have any cash? I actually do have. I actually do have like forty-five cash still at the other store. Uh, I don't really have any cash over at the the one that we've just gone to, the, the store next to our house. But you know, and I might come to regret not taking my coins over, but probably not. Right, a very smooth maneuver right there, video game. The turning circle of this thing makes makes me cry. It really is dreadful. The good news is is that I can fill up with water anytime I want to over here. Also, the steering controls are horrific. I would love to get an upgraded hydro truck because it does seem like a really cool concept. Okay, so it's good that we actually know how much we're going to be able to get before we before we sell. I can't remember what the necklace was, but we did weigh it, I think. 291, yeah, I mean, that's a lot of money and that'll That'll keep us totally fine. The ring, not worth that much, but, you know, worth enough. 130 or whatever. And then this worth, like, 20 or 30 or whatever it was. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff indeed. So, 479 is what we're left with. Not a bad, not a bad result, truth be told. Okay. Yeah, how much cash do I have here? 21 cash. Nice. 500 exactly. It's a lovely amount of spending money. Okay, so we need a tool bag. That's that's an absolute must. We got, you know, a good number of spanners in there. That's, that's pretty darn good. Uh, what else did I need to get? Nothing really, to be honest. I mean, another bit of conveyor would probably be nice. Another bit of conveyor would definitely be nice, but that's, that's just it. Did I say anything? Did I say that I needed anything else? I don't think I did. Another bit of vertical conveyor. I don't have... I do have the cash for that, actually. So we could bring it up just a little bit more. I need more pipes. I do need more pipes. 
Let's get some more water pipes whilst we're over here. It's the same price as back, uh, back at the other base, but that's fine. Yeah, it's terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Uh, yeah, so nothing nothing else that I really need. I thought I needed something else, but uh, but apparently not. We need we do need crucibles. We do need a small furnace and a crucible in order to melt the iron. Crucible. Yeah, so I guess we'll get that over here. No real reason not to. Uh, a couple more pipes. Uh, I might just get some more elbow joints just whilst I'm here. We got the, you know, we got the car, we got the truck. Yeah, let's rock and roll with that. That's fine. All right, let me bring the car around, and then we will head home, get it all set up, and bada bim, bada boom, we're going to be rich by the end of the day. I mean, we're already rich. The fact that we were able to, like, automate, you know, the fact that we're able to automate this process just means that we're just going to, you know, we're just going to be so unbelievably wealthy super duper fast. And you got to bear in mind, this is only the top level of dirt that we're exploiting. We're not even, we're not even utilizing the Goliath drill. We've not even utilized, like a lot of our uh, a lot of our production capability you know we we got a we got a lot we got a lot a uh, lot more to do there we go wonderful this is just like the basic level of automation the basic level of automation although i will say i'm very very happy with it very very happy with the progress that i've made thus far yeah there we go and there we go Cool. Okay. Anything else that I could possibly need? I don't think so. I'm going to take my coins back with me. Just in case they are required to buy anything at the uh, at the, the local shop. And uh, let's rock and roll. Also, what are the spiky things on the, on the side of my car for? I should pay attention whilst I'm driving. Oh, you idiot potato. You're not an idiot potato. You're an idiot potato. Wow, what a turnaround. What a what a turnaround. Okay, where the heck am I going? The exact opposite direction. Alright, the video game, you're just trying to tease me. You're trying to remind me how terrible the turning circle on this car is. I don't like it. I don't appreciate it. I don't appreciate it. It's not good. Not good. Okay, let's motor on up this way. Let's motor on up this way and let's head across the bridge. Head down. Excellent. No, it was going so well. It still is going well. Excellent, excellent. Mission accomplished. Okay, cool. Right, so should we start getting stuff? I tell you what, let's not actually let's not actually get the let's not actually get the the bits of whatever what 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 is what is it called the bits of filter let's not bother getting them immediately fixed because there is something that we need to do first and that is a very very important secondary secondary uh, sorter and secondary furnace setup what is that noise what is that noise i have no idea what that noise is Cool. Okay. Well, there we go. That's a that's a noise. That's a, that's that's a thing. All right. So clear out this this area over here. What the heck is that noise? Okay, it stopped now. That's good. Right. So a couple of things that we need to do. First of all, get this disconnected. It's disconnected. Don't need that. Uh, I think we're going to need to move this all across by a little bit. But it's not a big deal necessarily at this moment in time. Let's move this out. Uh, I do need more pipes, but I am after. Where is it? Where did my... Where did my bit of conveyor go? I had a, I had a bit of conveyor belt around here somewhere. I think that's what was making the noise, because it's somehow managed to despawn itself from the the universe. Has it fallen down the hole? It it's fallen down the hole. How did how did you get down here? I need this bit. This is this is very important. Unbelievable. Video game, video game, video game. How cheeky of you. Right, so hook this up right over there. Excellent. Let's move this across a little bit. Right. 
And then the next... The next splitter, which... Which is also gone missing. Where the heck did the splitter go? We had another splitter. We, we had another... We had another splitter. I... I'm not making this up, am I? No, we definitely bought two... We definitely bought two splitters. I, I even remember saying it. We need one splitter for... Splitting the iron, and then the other splitter for splitting the, uh... The other splitter for splitting the gold. What? What? Really? It's just disappeared. It's just... It's just disappeared entirely. I mean... I believe that there are occasionally some bugs that relate to the disappearance of resources when you leave the area. Because I believe... I believe that this sort of moldable dirt right here is not is not like reloaded or something or there's some there's some loading issue so truth be told if i was to dig down to the very that's an artifact that's an artifact place in the cave with the with the other relics cool all right that's great let me leave it on the road and then think about it like maybe in another another episode uh but now nah, i would love to discover the artifact of my lost long lost splitter that would be that would be really great video game um i, I a hundred percent, a hundred percent had another, had another one of these things, another one of these splitters. I mean, that does kind of throw a wrench in the entire, in the entire works. If I don't have, if I don't have my other splitter, that's not good. Because that means that I need to go back to the other shop and find the cash in order to buy it. Which is not necessarily a problem. It's just not a problem that I can rectify in this episode. I mean, I'm not I'm not being blind, am I? I'm I know it sort of pinged off into the distance over here, but then we got it back and then And then the fact that I found my the fact that I found my conveyor belt down in the uh, down in the mine over there. Down in the shaft. Okay, let's uh let's do something. Let's do something. Let's do something about this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do. What I'm going to do, just real quick, I'm going to go on a little exploration hunt down here. In fact, Grandpappy, where's your where's your mining helmet? Where, where is it? It's... Oh, I, I threw it. I took it off. I, yeah, here it is. I threw it off in a fit of rage last time. Right, so, we're going to we're gonna explore the bottom of the world here. So, I believe that there is some element of the fact that the dirt despawns. The dirt despawns, but the but the other hard terrain doesn't. So let's go this way a little bit. I'm trying to remember exactly where the heck the splitter was before before it presumably despawned, or maybe even fell through the world. I don't know. <gasps> I found it. I knew it, folks. Uh, this is a this is a, oh this is a brilliant this is a brilliant story. That's right. See that noise? That was the noise of the splitter boy losing himself. What a adventure. What a total, total, total adventure. I cannot believe it. You didn't think it was possible. I fixed it. I, I actually, I actually gosh darn did it. Wowzers. What a, what a true adventure story. Okay. Grandpappy, your helmet has been phenomenal. Let's sleep real quickly. Let's do it real, real fast right now. Hit up the bed. All right, and then let's go and see if we can get this placed. Okay, so I would like... Yeah, I would like it in that orientation, please. That's that's absolutely exceptional. Oh, man, I cannot believe... I cannot believe my luck. I cannot believe it. That's real good. Okay, so... We do the same setup over here. There we go. Yep. Let's uh, grab my pickaxe again. Where the heck did that go? Oh, it's down, down in the mine, wasn't it? That's fine. Okay. Grab pickaxe. Look at this. This is this is looking good. This is looking real good. Okay. Clean up the, the box a little bit. Cool. Looking real nice. And where is my crucible? Uh, sorry, my furnace. My furnace is still to be loaded up into the correct position looking very very good and the crucible 
There we go. There we go. There we go. I mean, we're approaching the point where we just need to... We just need to repair the, the, the pipes, and then we're, we're pretty much ready to go. Of course, I need to get the the pressure the pressure reinstalled to the system over here, but we will do that in just a second. What was I going to do? I was going to grab my pickaxe, which was here, uh, and then just create, like, a little divot at the end here. So, like, a little, a little hole with which all of the additional stuff that we're not able to smelt will go. There we go. Lovely. Cool. So I think we're good to just smelt. We're just good to like, yeah, pop everything else out into here. And this, this hole will just be exclusively for, it's a bit difficult to see, but uh, it'll be exclusively for, uh, for stuff that can't be smelted. Very, very good indeed. Okay, so the next stage. The next stage is to try and line this up. Yep, so right here. That's good. And then we very simply maneuver... We very simply maneuver this over here. The cork. There we go. Now, I don't believe that this water needs to be pressurized or indeed... Uh, or indeed cleaned. I think that it's totally fine just for it not to be cleaned. Nope. Yep. Excellent, excellent. Uh, do we need to bring it out one more? We do indeed need to bring it out one more. Cool, and then we'll go off the edge here. Nice. Uh, we'll grab that bit. Oh no, I've fallen into my, my gem repository. That's fine, we've escaped. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Man, I just cannot get enough of this game right now. I cannot get enough of this game. This, oh goodness gracious me! This this episode is already one hour and twenty minutes long. This is this is this is becoming a bit of a bit of a problem, somewhat of an addiction. Okay, so you go down there. Yes, good. Okay, uh, we do need a couple more bits of pipe, but I think I should have them all in store right here. There we go. Preparation. I still cannot believe the redemption story. Oh, this is looking good. This is looking real good, folks. This is looking real, real good. Okay, let's make sure that this is set to process iron. There we go. That's set to process gold. We are ready to rock and roll. Let's see if this does indeed work. Okay. So, can we turn you on? You don't want to work. Fine. Right, so are you pumping? Uh, let's see if we can get that sorted. Does that refresh anything? Uh, no. That's a little funny. Uh, very funny, in fact. You want to work? No? Okay. There we go. Good stuff. Okay, a little bit further away, but I think it's still in line, isn't it? Totally is still in line. There we go. We'll get a... Two water filters. In fact, it's not even further away. Alright, water filter in place. Water and filter in place. Cool, exceptional. Let's run around and grab our toolbox, which is still in the back of our vehicle, apparently. Uh, do I have another crucible, by the way? I don't. I don't have the other crucible in place yet. That would be somewhat embarrassing, if indeed we were to start spewing out resources and it didn't want to work. Also, there are there's bits of gold. There's bits of gold under here. Uh, we'll deal with that later. Priority now is just getting this working. Right. So. There's water that's spewing everywhere. We should probably get plugs. In fact, how much does a plug cost? I'd love two plugs. Because that, that pressure is just leaking out everywhere. Right, cash-wise, what do we got? 14. How much does a plug cost? 15. 
<laughs> oh, you couldn't make it up. You couldn't make it up. And to be honest, look, as far as I'm concerned, it was already a massive win. Already a massive win once the redemption story of, of the splitter uh, had successfully, once the splitter had been successfully recovered, uh, you know, everything, everything is good. Everything is good in my mind. Okay, so 30 bucks for that. Uh, yeah, fine. We'll just go and plug these gaps. More because I find it unbelievably annoying to hear that watery noise. There we go. And one more. I think that's the only one that we need. We might need to get one more plug for the output just next to the refining bot thing. Just near near this one over here. There might be water coming out the bottom there, but... Yeah, there is water coming out the bottom there. Okay, let me just uh, let me just plug that gap, and then we will we will repair the stuff, and then we will actually we will actually go. This is great. This is great. This is this is so good. This is so so flipping good. Let's do it. Let's flip and go. Let's flip and go. Okay, no other escape. No other water escapes. See, I don't want to lose. It's in there. I don't want to lose the plug by sticking it underground and having to get a pickaxe and mine it out to find it again. A la splitter. Okay, this is great. This is fantastic. Okay, get you repaired. Get you repaired. Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? We got loads of spanners left. That's totally fine. We need to turn on the machine, I think. Oh, we're so good. Oh, we're so good. Oh, we are so good. Oh, we are so, so good. Oh, it's actually... Oh, it's making... It's making money. It's just making money. It's straight up making money. Oh, this is so nice. Okay, I, I think... Ah, the, the, the belt is placed in the wrong direction. Ah, somewhat of an issue there. Yeah, pick it up, try again. There we go. It works like a charm. Okay. There we go. Iron goes through. Iron comes out into the smelting pot. Oh, brilliant. Even if it's not a 100% success rate, even if every bit of... Uh, even if every bit of, bit of ore doesn't land in the pot as required, even if there are a couple of stragglers, that doesn't particularly matter because at least all of the gold is going to be deposited in this area. All of the iron is going to be deposited in this area. I can always use the magic staff to just, you know, lift up the goods and stick them in the right, uh, stick them in the right crucible. But this is, this is, this is brilliant. So literally each and every episode, I feel like I'm automating a different part of the process. In the last episode, we, you know, completely automated the extraction of resources. Now... Uh, in this episode, we have successfully automated the uh, the smelting of resources. Uh, all that we are required to do is literally pick up the pot every now and again and uh, and stick it stick it into a mold. There may well be a max value per gold bar. However, in saying that, that's not necessarily a problem because the max value you know at least is over one thousand three hundred uh, three hundred bucks as we have already determined. Uh, so uh, so that's pretty exciting pretty happy with that holy cow what an episode folks the redemption story of of this flipping splitter right here is is absolutely golden uh, hollywood call me i'll be waiting uh, honestly what a fantastic story what a fantastic find i'm delighted uh, ladies and gents it's been an absolute pleasure to play hydroneer for you today thank you very very much for watching thank you very much also to the orbital potato patreon supporters over at patreon.com forward slash orbital potato uh, and also thanks to banana nanana and c senpai for being the two 25 plus tier patrons thanks for watching folks i'll see you next time